Good morning. It's Dylan Jovene behind the markets. It's uh, Friday, July 5th. Happy Friday. Uh, a lot of people ask me about China, Taiwan. You know, they know that I always talk about it um, because, look, it's, it's simple if you don't look at it. You know what I mean? If you're not focused on China, Taiwan or foreign affairs. But it just so happens that God programmed me to be interested in foreign affairs. I don't know why, but I'm just interested in these types of things. But, you know, I've been watching how things are playing out in the past few weeks, and the last few weeks have been very concerning, actually. They're not really reporting this in the press. It's another thing that they're not reporting. But basically, you know, China's been struggling with the Philippines. China says, basically, the whole South China Sea, the whole East China Sea is ours, including all the oil and natural resources and everything that's there. Now, obviously, that's a problem. It's a problem for the United States, and it's a problem for the other countries that live in that neighborhood. You know, Vietnam, South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, you name it. They're all saying, well, wait a minute. You know, this pile of water in the South China Sea is our, our area. It's our exclusive economic zone. You can't just send oil rigs there and drill for oil and take out those resources. This is ours. You know, so they've been getting very militaristic, and, and just the last week, What's happened is, you know, you know, China really injured somebody from the Philippines on water, the Coast Guard, really. Now, China, usually when it wants to stop, let's say, the Philippines or another country from sailing in what it calls its international waters, it usually sprays water cannons at the ships. But this time, it rammed the ship, and they started beating each other up with clubs, both people in both ships, and, and knives, and daggers, and all this stuff, where a guy lost his finger, and a lot of people were hurt, which, you know, for those of you who keep an eye on these things, is very reminiscent of what China has been doing with India. You know, and, and a lot of people ask, you know, China did with India in the Himalayas, a lot of people ask, why, is, why should we care about China? Why should we care about Taiwan? Why should we care about the South China Sea? Why should any of this matter? The main reason I give, and I always say to them, is look, Taiwan makes 90% of the advanced semiconductors that we use for everything, for our phones, our cars, our computers, our cell phones, everything. And they also make all of NVIDIA's AI chips. NVIDIA's not making chips, basically. NVIDIA's designing chips and telling Taiwan Semiconductor what they should look like, and Taiwan's designing them and then NVIDIA sells them. So again, it's designing and selling chips. Now, if China took Taiwan, basically, they would cut us out of all these AI chips, you know, period, because China needs them. Remember, the Trump administration and the Biden administration blocked China from getting these very important AI chips. And we all know that AI chips are critical for warfare. I mean, these are the things, advanced semiconductors are the things that, you know, they make our F-35 fly. They, they literally land our missiles, they guide our missiles where they want in the air. So these are very, very, very important for us. And Trump in his wisdom and Biden in his wisdom said, look, we don't wanna block anybody from getting these chips, but we don't wanna fight a war against China, if, if that comes to that, against our own chips. So we've gotta stop China from getting chips that we make or that any that any country or company makes using our technology and Taiwan Semiconductor does that. This is how important this is. If China in all war game scenarios, the United States in like a half of them, China takes Taiwan quickly and America loses a bunch of lives. In the other half of them, China st is stopped by America and Japan from taking Taiwan, but America loses tens of thousands of people. It's freaking brutal. Warships, everything. I mean, it is a disaster and probably lands missiles in California and Hawaii. This is how important Taiwan is. If China succeeded in taking Taiwan, the United States would bomb all of Taiwan semiconductors factories out of there because we, we wouldn't want anybody to, and of course they would say the Chinese blew them up or it was accidental explosions, et cetera, et cetera. But make no mistake about it, we would not put ourselves in a situation where China suddenly had all the AI chips and all the factories that make those chips, and we had literally nothing. If we lost Taiwan, God forbid, we would literally bomb every single factory. And, and believe me, military people have mapped all this out. They know where every Taiwan semiconductor factory is, and those things would be eliminated in a minute. And this is why famously Buffett bought, Taiwan Semiconductor is a great company. And if it wasn't in Taiwan, I would recommend it. That's why Warren Buffett bought Taiwan Semiconductor so many shares of stock. And then 
four months later, sold it all, he must have got tipped off to what the government was planning and, and all this conflict that's going on around here. So this is the great game, as Winston Churchill would say. This is where the high stakes battle is at. This is very important to the future of this country, which is why I keep talking to you about it and reporting on it. Have a great weekend.